This is Akashwani, the news read by Naresh Mago. Senior BJP leader Narendra Modi will take oath as Prime Minister today for the third consecutive term. The new Union Council of Ministers will also be administered the oath of office in secrecy by President Draupadi Murmu at Rashtrapati Bhavan. The President had invited Mr. Modi to form the new government. The swearing-in ceremony will be held at 7.15 p.m. On Friday, Mr. Modi had met the President and staked claim to form the new government. An NDA delegation led by BJP President J.P. Nadda had also met the President and submitted a letter stating that Mr. Narendra Modi had been elected leader of the BJP Parliamentary Party. Letters of support from the NDA constituent parties were also handed over to the President. Several leaders from neighbouring countries and Indian Ocean region have been invited to attend the swearing-in ceremony. President of Sri Lanka, Ranil Vikramasinghe, President of Maldives, Dr. Mohammad Moizo, Vice President of Seychelles, Ahmed Afif, Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina, Prime Minister of Mauritius, Pravind Kumar Jagannath, Prime Minister of Nepal, Pushpa Kamal Dahalj Prachand, and Prime Minister of Bhutan, Shering Tobge, will attend the ceremony. Mr. Modi paid homage to Mahatma Gandhi at Rajghat and former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee at Sadev Atal in New Delhi today. Mr. Modi also laid a wreath at the National War Memorial. Akashwani Delhi will broadcast a running commentary of the swearing-in ceremony from Rashtrapati Bhavan from 6.45 p.m. onwards on its FM Gold, Indraprasth and Akashwani Live News 24 by 7 channels. This broadcast will also be live-streamed on Akashwani AIR, the YouTube channel of Akashwani. Capital Akashwani stations in Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Chennai, Katak, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Impal, Kolkata, Mumbai and Tiruvannathapuram will broadcast the commentary in their regional languages on their state networks which will be relayed by all primary channels and local radio stations in these states. In view of the swearing-in ceremony, Delhi Traffic Police have made special traffic arrangements in the national capital today. Several roads, including Sansad Mark between Transport Bhavan and T-Point Rafi Ahmed Kedwai Mark, North Avenue Road, South Avenue Road, Kushak Road, Rajaji Mark, Krishna Menon Mark, Talkadora Road and Pandit Pant Mark will remain closed from 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. In Sikkim, the swearing-in ceremony of Prem Singh Tamang as Chief Minister and his Council of Ministers will be held at 4 p.m. tomorrow at Paljor Stadium in Gangtok. Governor Lakshman Prasad Acharya will administer the oath of office in secrecy to Mr. Tamang and his Council of Ministers. SKM Chief Tamang will take oath for the second term. Delhi Water Minister Atishi has requested Delhi Lieutenant Governor Vinay Kumar Saxena for an emergency meeting to discuss water scarcity in the national capital. Ms. Atishi said in a social media post that the meeting will be held to inform him about the alleged inadequate release of water by the Haryana government from the Munak Canal. She added that as the representative of the central government, Mr. Saxena will be asked to intervene and resolve the situation by taking note of the situation. Ms. Atishi claims that Delhi is supposed to receive 1,050 cusecs of water from the Monarch Canal, but the Haryana government is allegedly releasing only 840 cusecs of water. India and Pakistan are set for a high-stakes clash in the T20 World Cup today. Team India will face arch-rivals Pakistan in their second Group A match at Nassau County International Cricket Stadium in New York. The match is scheduled to start at 8 p.m. Indian Standard Time with live streaming and telecast available in India. India, led by Rohit Sharma, began their campaign with an emphatic eight-wicket win over Ireland. In contrast, Babar Azam's Pakistan suffered a surprising super-over defeat to the USA in Dallas. Meanwhile, Australia beat England by 36 runs at Kensington Oval Bridgetown Barbados last night. In another match, South Africa beat the Netherlands by four wickets at the Nassau County International Cricket Stadium, New York. Carlos Alcaraz of Spain will take on Germany's Alexander Zverev in the men's singles final of French Open tennis in Paris today. While the 21-year-old Alcaraz is seeking his third Grand Slam title, it would be the first for 27-year-old Zverev. And that is the end of this news bulletin.